Okay. So we need to make our action more uh, stable and more traveling. To be able to do this, we need to accelerate our direction. Our acceleration will be with the knee, with the hip, and with our body. Our knee needs to go to the foot and need to go past the foot to lengthen our, our um, alignment or lengthen our, um, I would say, place to, to be. Yes, lengthen our area to turn. Our hip also needs to go into the foot and needs to go past the foot. Yes, our hip needs to go into the foot and needs to go past the knee to the space. As I move, I'm not going to stay here and dine on it. I need to go past with the knee, hip, and separate my tension. So if I just go down here, I will like increase my tension to the knee. If I separate, I will be my knee and more energy will kind of split between. Yes. So how to do this? As you split your weight, as you continue going towards your knee, so you need to pick up your hip and place your weight back. Now you can hold thigh here to drive to the knee, hip, pass. On the forward action, and now if I dance as the action, as a step, so you will be more winding up with the base to or winding up to put heel down. So when your hip pulls the heel, you can't just to put it down. So this way you cannot put heel down. It's too far away. Yeah. So when you hip there, you can put it. So now again, you're winding up to continue to drive to the same foot. Now later on, you do need to be put two feet together. You can stay in one foot. But the, this left action will be doing the same type of uh, strings. So you will separate and then use the strong muscle and move the base through. So big muscle, big muscle, so that take your whole weight into the knee down. On the back shin, you will do the same. So instead of going down to the knee and not the left whole weight over here, it's too hard, even it's too shallow. So you need to get your weight over the ball of the foot, over the heel. Now you need to move and have this small action here from the knee to the hip. And now, my energy is 